Thank you for visiting DIY Wedding Gowns. This is going to be a tutorial on how to make a placemat bridal clutch. Here are the ordinaries you will need in order to complete this project. If you need more time, feel free to press pause and review the list. First, you're going to lay one placemat on top of the other. Then I'm going to divide the placemat into thirds. So here I will make a light marking at 6 inches and at 12 inches. Next, I'm just going to fold over at the first markings and just press down at the crease. Now take the other end and overlap it onto the first fold. Then press down at the crease as well. Now you're just going to open it up and remove the interior placemat. Make a fold and just press along the crease. And we are now going to make a measurement halfway across. For example here, this is six and a quarter inches. Then measure two and one fourth inches up from the bottom and make a mark. Now center the purse snap onto the mark and then just make marks for the prongs. Remove the purse snap and then unfold the placemat. You are now going to use the X-Acto knife and make slits where the prongs were marked. Place the prongs into the slits and then you're just going to flip the placemat over. Take the metal plate and then place it onto the prongs and then you're just going to press um, the prongs down and secure it. Here I am rotating my placemat around. Now take the interior placemat and just place it on top of the exterior one. Now just fold it over and hand press it along the crease. Sew along both sides of the clutch and make sure you secure stitch it at the end. You will now have two slots to keep all your bridal accessories in, but you're not done yet. Fold over the top part of the clutch and then hand press along the crease. You will notice that the edge does not align, however, use it as a design element to your clutch. Now you're going to make a mark on the interior lining at the center of the magnetic snap. Unfold the clutch and place a cutting mat in between the exterior and interior lining. This way you will not cut into the exterior fabric. Center the magnetic closure onto the marking as you did the first time. Again mark where the prongs are placed. And now cut slits where the prong markings are. And now you're just going to slide the magnetic closure into the slits Flip it over and then place the metal plate onto the prongs and then just press it down to secure it. Now all you have to do is sew along the top portion of the clutch and you are complete. For a decorative touch you can add a rhinestone brooch or add some flowers to the clutch. Here I am using the Lana flowers to add that beautiful final touch. So after placing the flowers all I do is add glue to the back of the flowers. You will notice that when I glue the flowers down, I will face the portion where the ribbon is glued to the back of the flower towards the center of the clutch. Here I am repeating the process for the small flower. And you are complete. I hope you get inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. If you would like to learn how to make the Lana flowers, please click on the image. If you would like to view tutorials for other bridal accessories or bridal wear, please click on one of the gold glitter buttons.